Whatever lives in that cave is far from friendly. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the Eternal Fire illuminate your path.
I'm going to be a witcher too. What do you want? I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witch's secrets, are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. Any news? These are your friend's remains. What killed him? I cannot say. I don't know what that is, but I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body? But we agreed. We agreed? A decent burial? Or I won't pay? What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. Speak quickly. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? I'll take the sarcophagus. They think of nothing but money. You chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... Death. I'll follow you, waiting for mistakes. That's not all. There is death, but there's also free will. I'll find Salamandra and fulfill my own destiny. I'll be waiting, Wolf. Hendrian Va, Sauv Leo Turvle. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die, because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die, because of you.
like the dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. I'm not playing that. Greetings, handsome traveller. First kind words I've heard around here. I like travellers. One showered me with flowers. Last I got tulips, my beloved called me the most beautiful. You find me fetching? What do you say we find a nook somewhere? I'm feeling under the weather. Any news? I buried your friend. Sad to end in some forgotten village. It was a decent burial. Then I can leave with a clear conscience. Forgetting something? Ah, uh, your 200 orans. You fuck a lass! No bold men. What do you want? Is the potion ready? Yes. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children. Torturing the witch's puppy again! Innocent blood. Evil face is twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Show her you're a man. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born! Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death! How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who has summoned me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone! Oh, I'm sleepy. Mm. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. Speak quickly. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. 
There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred arons. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why into my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Geravant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Of course. <clears throat> he told us to question strangers. A ring of the eternal fire. Must be from the Reverend. The Reverend sent me to help you. He's always thinking of me. I have this gardening problem. I'm no gardener. Let me finish. Some time ago, strange plants erupted in my garden. These plants, they're alive. Useful they were at first, devouring moles and insects. What's the problem then? Now they're as big as a man with giant branches. Luckily, they're buried underground in daytime, but I'm afraid to go near. I'll see what I can do for 120 orins. I'll pay 50 orins. Let's drink to that. Hundred and twenty, and not an orin less. Uh. Two weeds for 70 orange. I said 120. I need to live. I need to drink. My final offer is 80. Cheers. Ugh, strong stuff. How about 100? Deal. One last shot.
From the blood and dents, this armors are warriors. But this fatso is more familiar with tankard than sword. Speak your mind. I've slain the monsters in the garden. Pay up. You want your eighty orans? Here. We agreed on a hundred. We drank some ale, but my memory rarely deceives me. Now listen here. All right, here's your coin. I told you not to slay monsters while drunk at night, but you insisted. You frighten me. I risk my neck for you, and you try to cheat me. Don't forget to tell the Reverend I helped you. Speak your mind. You a soldier? What's it to you? I noticed that suit of armor. My brothers. He fought at Brenner and other places. Oh, I detest soldiers. No, except my brother. Relax. I'm no soldier. Speak your mind. Any monsters around? The howling from the village turns my milk sour. Anything stranger than that? The fog was so dense one time, I strayed to the witch's house, where a great beast stared in her window. Tell me more. Well, I, I wasn't about to stay. I turned round so fast I nearly left my legs behind, but it was as big as a horse, billowed smoke and sparks like a half. Later. seems to be looking for something. Watch those Echinops thorns, pup. What are you guarding? What do you want? Can I ask you something? If you must. Heard of Alzur's demon? Alzur was a mage, a theoretician and practitioner. He traveled broadly, working all the while on a theory of magic. He once encountered a beast immune to all spells. The beast had a lion's body and a man's head. Interesting. When Alzur approached, the beast asked, what animal walks on four legs in the morning, on two at noon, and on three in the evening? Know the answer, Witcher? I do. A powerful mage. Alzer was good at riddles. When he answered correctly, the creature attacked. 
Alzer was able to defeat it and later learned that in solving its riddle, he had drained it of power. How is this relevant to our green mutts? The beast spoke through Alvin, asking, Who summoned me? The villagers summoned the beast through their vile deeds. You must find the guilty. I see. So, how would you have answered Alzer's demon? A man. Indeed. I hope you fared just as well with this beast. Can I ask you something? If you must. Where's Alvin? The Reverend snatched him as he was fetching water. Why did he do that? Because his heart is as black as those of all the rest. Do you hate all humans? Yes. You don't know what it's like to live here. To endure their evil looks, their whispers, while knowing all their dirty secrets. I'm no favorite either. A few noble deeds and you'll depart. This is my home. See you later. Halt! What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... what do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course. I don't believe you. He give you anything? The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. The Reverend said, Worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. The Reverend said you could use my help. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. I'm a Witcher. So I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 orins and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little. And I don't have much gold, neither. But no matter, just so long as the deadens are slayed, eh? See you later. The Reverend said, Worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. 
got any problems around here? Well, that Cartiona or whatnot. Damn plague's been about killing folk. And we got monsters, too. Monsters? What kind? Well, there's wolves. Lots of them. There's the deadens, and there's elves and kobolds. Wolves, you say? Oh, heaps of them, sir. And them much have gone wild. It used to be I could pelt them with rocks. No, I'm just afraid. I see. Hmm. Uh... Where would I find these ghouls? Near the inn. There's a hill. An entrance in the... Uh... Farewell. They're not allowed. I'm Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains.
Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. You're ours, Witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. I'm innocent, Doctor! You witcher, you saved me and my laboratory, my beakers, my treasures. Anytime. I know all too well what they're after. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. They almost succeeded at Kaer Morin. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Shouldn't have defended the old man. You'll come talking again. <laughs> what are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me a headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said, only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. Not letting me in? The Oxenfurt Inventors Club must have bribed them. What brings you here? They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. I found these strange dice, dwarven handiwork. Don't know what folks have said, but I quit playing long ago, I, I swear. Relax, Mikkel. I'm just asking. The Revan can tell you I burn my box and renounce the devil. Talk to the dwarf, Zoltan. Zoltan, you say? I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A hundred thanks, Master. Here be a month's pay. Ooh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> they plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. 
No, no, no! It was that vile witch! The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa! No! I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones, leave me be. You have the evil eye, you bring bad tidings. Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. The Reverend looks after me now. How did you get here? The Reverend plucked me from a witch's claws. Claws? That's what he says. Do you like living here? It's my chance to become a decent man. I'll keep my fingers crossed, kid. Speak quickly. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes, but as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? Speak quickly. I see you took Alvin in. It was my duty. Was I to let the witch corrupt him? I suppose not. When I'm gone... The people will need a new spiritual guide. Doesn't he need a mother? What do you know? The child may now save his immortal soul. I have led him toward the eternal fire. I'm burning away his sins and weakness. And it's none of your concern. <laughs> 